This is Tom from TDK Ski Racing here to help you become a better skier. If you feel confident with wedging and you want to move on to parallel skiing, this is the video for you. However, if you already mastered parallel skiing, this would still be interesting for you because I'm going to go through three levels of parallel skiing of which the third level would be the advanced level. So, let's start. At level one, you have mastered wedging and you want to start skiing parallel. The turn we are going to focus on is the wedge Christi. That means we make the turn with a wedge and then at the end of the turn we bring our skis parallel. Most of the students that come to our lessons and uh, start with wedging, their goal is to be parallel skiing. And what they don't realize is that parallel skiing is necessarily not be having the skis parallel all the time. You make the turn in a wedge and then you bring the skis parallel at the end of the turn. As we come in a traverse with the skis parallel, we have our we have the weight on our downhill ski. We open up the uphill ski in a wedge. We do a weight transfer and uh, we start turning into the fall line. And as we come through the fall line and the bottom of the turn, at the end of the turn, we bring our skis parallel again. This should keep our speed up uh, at the end of the turn so that we continue with, with, uh, with a bit of speed it's because a wedge is breaking our speed. So as we go into the fall line we do, we do a wedge that will cause friction that will slow us down as we come through the turn we bring our skis parallel and that will, that will uh, speed us up and keep us going. Remember, we need speed to be turning. Without speed, it gets awfully difficult. Level two, the intermediate level, would be turning with the skis completely parallel. Instead of opening up the skis in a wedge to make the turn initiation, to mimic the wedge turn. We are going to keep our skis parallel and do the turn with the skis matching each other the whole turn, turn through. How is this possible? Well, there are a couple of variations on this theme, but my absolutely my favorite one is the traditional one that we call up and waiting. That means that we, at the start of the turn, we, we extend up, we, we raise our uh, center of mass a little bit, and this will cause the, the pressure under our skis to decrease. And, uh, and at that right moment, we are going to slide our skis out in a small skid. We're going to pivot them out. A little bit so that when we regain weight on our skis moments later we will have our skis skidding and th this is the exact same situation as with a wedge except we are not in a wedge we have our skis matched parallel after this we do the exact same thing as we do in a wedge we lean with our body with our upper body out over our outside ski, we bring our hips into the turn and, uh, and we follow through and continue uh, after the turn in a traverse with the skis parallel. We will, I will demonstrate for you now exactly what happens. If, if I'm standing in a wedge, 
with my with my skis in a wedge and you're looking at me from the front and I bring one ski matching the other one you can see that it looks like a perfect parallel stance I have my skis matched I have my knees nicely into the turn I have my hips nicely into the turn I'm balancing with my upper body out over the outside ski and my my chest my upper body is slightly turned out towards the outside of the turn so everything starts with the wedge and uh, then we have the wedge Christy and then we have the parallel turn uh, this was level two now let's go to level three of parallel skiing the advanced level the pro level when you have mastered level one and level two of of parallel skiing you can move to level three that would be carving carving has a lot in common with wedging it is it is actually more resemblant of wedging than the parallel turn even though our skis are parallel all the time the reason is that when we are wedging remember we have our feet we don't move our feet our skis are in a wedge and the only thing we do is we lean out over the outside ski and we turn there is no up motion there is we, we, we we're not moving up we're not unweighting we're not doing anything like this there is no extending and flexing in the parallel turn uh, at level two there we have to extend up in order to unweight our skis and make them turn in carving we the only thing we need to do is to tilt our skis on edge and they will turn by themselves this is somewhat difficult because we are letting the skis uh, turn us we are not turning the skis it's the skis that are turning us and we are actually just along for the ride and that can be scary and that's a little bit of a problem with balance wise because you easily lose your balance in situations like this but once you master it it will be a, a great way to ski fast with high edge angles and that's what the racers do that's what the ski instructors do that's what all the advanced skiers do so short recap in order to to turn in a carb turn on the level three we simply tilt the skis we tip the skis on edge how do we do that we do exactly like we did on when we were wedging we lean out over the outside ski this will automatically tilt our skis on edge and we will start turning then we can bring our knees into the turn more to uh, to increase the edge angle but it's at the beginning it's basically just a question of leaning out over your skis uh, your outside ski that will offset your your uh, your hips into the turn that would tip your legs your feet your legs in uh, into the turn and that will make you turn the stronger you turn the more you have to compensate by leaning into the turn if you look at pictures from professional skiers like really advanced skiers you can see that they are they are flying flat on the snow with the outside ski carving and they are still in balance they're not falling they're just holding themselves up it's uh, it's really all about 
balancing over that outside ski, keeping the turn forces, the gravity in balance. So that was all for today. Uh, signing off from beautiful Levy. I'm here at the office again with the perfect sky behind me, the nice trees. We should put some, uh, some Christmas lights in the tree to make it a Christmas tree. No, we should not. This is nature. This is the way it should be. This is, uh, this is Lapland. This is Finland. If you think this video was worth watching, please hit the like button. Remember to subscribe because I'm putting out all videos all the time for all levels from beginner levels to advanced levels, ski instruction, race coaching. I'm trying to bring uh, ski instruction into race coaching and I'm trying to bring race coaching into ski instruction. So that was all for today. Thank you and see you out on the slopes. <laughs>